Gavin, you, you managed to avoid the bottom two last week, um, which is pretty impressive. You must be like, are you feeling a little bit more confident now? You've been labelled sort of the dark horse of the competition. Um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident. You know, I think um, I think I'm still the underdog going into the semi-finals, but I don't mind that tag. Hopefully, I can prove a few people wrong again this weekend. Uh, we worked hard on our dances, um, so this should be pretty good. And hopefully, I'll surprise a few people and do enough to get through to the final. We've seen you come out of your skin a lot. It feels, from a viewer's perspective, that we've seen you sort of grow in confidence on the show. Do you do you feel like that personally, or is that just co your confidence at dancing? I think I am getting more confident as the weeks go on. I think I have improved as well, so that helps. Um, yeah, you know, it is pretty tough going out in front of like 40 million people and trying to dance sober. That's hard. But um, I think I'm dealing with it better and better, and I think my dancing is improving because of it. And I think people are appreciating that, hopefully. And yeah, hopefully it'll be the same semi final night and do enough to get through the final. Have you seen changes in him in training, Katya? Of course, from first meeting Gavin back in September and seeing this gorgeous, shy rugby player um, who was so scared to like come close to me or touch me and now obviously he's so much more confident and he's, he does seem happier, maybe not in this week, <laughs> but he was happier until we got to the semi-final week. Do you, I sort of feel like I know you more as a person after watching this show, I know you, you seem like a really nice guy and you and you don't seem like arrogant or anything like that. You know, I just seen you as a sports a sports person. Are you sort of pleased people are getting to see see like the real sort of Gavin Henson? Oh, that was part of the reason why I did Strictly Come Dancing, and uh, obviously seventy one degrees north as well. It's just to give people a chance to sort of know the real me. I know I've had a tough time, I think, in the press. Uh, it's been a bit negative, so I think you know, it's been a brilliant thing for me to do. Um, and people can make their own minds up about me now. I, yeah, like you said, people probably get a better understanding of me now so that's really cool it's been brilliant for me is the competitive edge must be kicking in it's the semi-final there must uh, you missed out on 71 degrees north in the final which was, must have been very annoying w would you be just as annoyed if you missed out on this one? Oh yeah you know I, nah, I'm a winner really you know whenever I go into I always want to win and uh, that's no different yeah you know, I can't take losing as long as I've given 100% and everything I possibly can then yeah it's fine then when you don't quite win so I've done all that my preparation is good so it's, uh, it's looking good. Who do you sort of view as your main competition when you're watching the other dancers? Who do you watch and think actually they're they're the people I've got to get up to? <coughs> I think I think Cara is probably the best dancer here, um, and Matt and Scott are really good as well. Obviously, um, so I don't know. Hopefully, I can surprise a few people this weekend. And you know, I've been closing the gap on uh, Matt and Scott. I think so. Yeah, just one more push this weekend. I should do it. Can you sort of tease us with anything, Katya, what you might like to do with Kevin? If you got to the final in the show dance, what, what you'd like, how you'd like to sort of push him? Would you get him on strings and flying around the stage? or? Um, there'd be a few costume changes and reveals and maybe um, get the Strictly Ballroom into a rugby field. Maybe uh, getting some sort of um, referee uniform for me, I don't know. <laughs> would, you, would you be happy with that? Oh yeah, if she creates that dance for like a rugby field, yeah, I'd be well happy, I'd be real comfortable. <laughs> and what, what are the rugby guys saying now when you're in the dressing room and stuff? Are they all just, are they encouraging you or is it a lot of banter? Oh, there's a lot of encouragement, there's a bit of banter as well, but you know, they're just intrigued, you know, they, they just want to know what goes on all together. Um, you know, they're fascinated by the fact that I'm surrounded by stunning, beautiful women on a Friday and Saturday and they want to know all about it. Um, so no, it's been cool. It's been really good for me to fit in actually in Saracens because it's been easy for the boys to talk to me because they've got, obviously got something to talk to me about. And do you ever get? I'm looking at you now. You don't look particularly tanned. You don't look any more tanned than anyone else in here, apart from me. Um, do you get sick of the fake tan jokes on the show? I probably haven't helped myself with being, being too honest in my cosmetics routine, but um, <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe it's the colour thing on your TV. You just turn it a bit. I'm yeah. not really that orange, honest. But you do have a cosmetics routine that's more than I do, so, you know, that's impressive, yeah. That's why, that's why I decided to come. Yeah. <laughs>